Hey guys, it's Julia, and today I'm going to be doing my April TBR. Is it April already? I feel like that is just insane. Not only because it's a fourth of the way through the year, but also because yesterday it was snowing in Missouri, like hail snow. So it wasn't just like regular snow, it was like balls of ice shooting from the sky. It was ridiculous. But anyway, so spring is upon us, even though Missouri it's like winter one day, spring the next day, winter one day, spring the next day. And I am excited for the warm weather. I cannot wait to wear a tank top and shorts and just be like reading in the sun. It's just, oh, I just can't wait. So anyway, I'm gonna get right into my April TBR. Hopefully by the end of this month, it's going to be hot outside and I can read in the hot weather, or at least in the warm weather. So I'm gonna get right into this. I have five books that I want to read this month. I'm going to start with the two books that I'm currently reading that I just started a few days ago and today. And the first one is To Kill a Kingdom by Alexandra Cristio. And this one I've actually had the arc for for a while, but I just, I read like the first couple chapters and I enjoyed it, but I was just reading other books. So I decided to put this down for a little while. And now I've decided to pick it back up. I do want to get the hardback version of this because as you can tell, it's pretty beat up already and that's one of the reasons why I despise paperback books and just way would rather have the hardcover book because I hate when my books get all damaged when I read them so anyway this book is kind of it's about this girl who's a siren whose mom decides to turn into a human after she defies her mother and she has to try to go and steal a sailor's heart and it's also about it's like a dual perspective about a boy who is a sailor who's actually a prince but he hunts sirens so to me this book just sounds so cool it's like an it's supposed to be kind of like a little mermaid retelling sort of with like the little mermaid you know how she turns turns into a human and falls for the prince and whatever. So um, I'm all about that life. I love The Little Mermaid and anything remotely close to The Little Mermaid. So um, I actually started reading this. I read it whenever I got the arc, the beginning, the first few chapters, and now I'm reading the or listening to the audiobook. So the audiobook is so good so far. So I am really excited to finish this. The next book that I am currently reading is not one that uh, a lot of people don't know about, and that is It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. I've had this on my bookshelf for a long time. This comes as a recommendation from one of my friends who reads a lot of a lot of adult romance. She said that this was a really good one. I read uh, Loving Mr. Daniels last month and really enjoyed it. So she suggested that I read this one. And since I already had it, I was like, yes, I'm going to read this. It's been on my TBR forever. And so I am just now finally getting to it. So the next book is another one that I need to finish. I'm so close to finishing it. I only have a few chapters left and that is The Savior's Champion by Jenna Moresi. I was really reading the ebook and it, it's really hard for me to read ebooks even though I really love the book it's just really hard to push myself to read on my phone I hate reading on my phone so I actually received the advanced reader copy in the mail on Friday no on Saturday so two days ago and so I've just been reading the rest of it like crazy and I am so excited to finish this I love this book I mean I'm, I'm actually not excited to finish it it's just it's such a good read that I don't want it to be over this is going to be a series I believe I know that Jenna Moresi is working on the second book now, which is called The Savior's Sister, I believe. And I cannot wait for it. I am so excited for it. If you don't know who Jenna Moresi is, she's a really awesome author tuber and I will link her channel down below so you guys can check her out. The next book I want to read is Empire of Storms. I read Queen of Shadows a couple months ago and just want to finish the series. I really enjoy these books. They're one of my favorite series. I love anything Sarah J Mass and with the new A Court of Frost and Starlight coming out in May. I'm all about Sarah J Mass right now and so I decided that I'm going to read this this month. The last book that I'm planning on reading this month is The Wicked Deep. Oh this cover I can't even 
with the holographic-y, shimmery beautifulness of this book. I am so excited to read it. Um, this was a cover buy for me and the fact that it's about witches. I love reading about witches so I was like yes I'm down for this. So I bought it two days ago and just got it in the mail yesterday from Amazon and this one is about three sisters who are witches who get drowned in the ocean for being accused of witchcraft and they actually haunt the town that they were drowned in every what is it every summer they come and they possess the bodies of three girls in the town and they kill three boys that live in this town so why anybody would keep living in this town if this shit was happening i don't know but it sounds like an interesting read to me it has a another girl who falls for this boy who's new to town that has no idea what's going on in this town and I think she's just gonna be trying to protect him or something or kind of inform him of what's happening. So um, of course I am down for this. It's not that big of a read so I feel like it'll be an awesome one to include in this month since some of these books that I've picked like Empire of Storms and Savior Champion are pretty big even though I've read most of the Savior Champion already so it doesn't really matter as far as that one goes but anyway I've been in a reading slump so I'm trying to kind of coast my way out of it slowly coast my way out of it not pressuring myself too much but still trying to push myself to read so I think that I'm going to be trying to do a readathon this month I have been seeing that there are quite a few readathons happening this month so I probably will try to get on board with one of those and um, I was gonna do Camp NaNoWriMo but I kind of decided not to do that and I'll probably post a video as to why I decided not to do Camp NaNoWriMo this year. I am still writing but just I don't want to really pressure myself to do a lot of writing but I'll get into that in probably my next video or so. Anyway, so that is really it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.